my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with another Vlogmas video, guys. And actually today, I did not actually plan to vlog, but I'm just doing stuff around the house. It's like just a really big ministry focused day. So I thought I would just show you guys my process on things I do for my personal ministry, things I do for myself. And also a beautiful thing about today is it is snowing. Yes, I woke up this morning to a lot of snow and it made me so excited. So it really made me so excited to wake up to all this snow and it just made me so like eager to have hot chocolate, spend time with Monty, and to just have a cozy day of working on the ministry and working in my apartment versus a busy day. I think the snow and the chill vibes made it feel like I could slow down and just have a cozy day versus a busy, da -da 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 -da, like all these things to do. And so um, I've got on my little PJ set I got from Target. I had Monty's on him. It is a little snug, and so he worked his way out of it really quickly. Thanks, Mont. You were supposed to be cute with Mom. Don't worry, y'all. He's going to get back in that soon. He just doesn't know. He just don't know. So first thing I want to do is get me some hot chocolate prepared. And then I'm going to sit down and do a little bit of prayer journaling right here. A little bit of prayer journaling and then I'm gonna head over to my desk to do some of the planning and stuff I need to do for today but today's just a chill day in my apartment it's no there's no big pressure but I do have to edit the morning coffee and I do have to um, get my blog post my blog's been edited I just need to design it and make it all pretty in the graphics and stuff so that's what I'm gonna be doing today so let me go ahead and grab what I need Now I'm sitting here at my computer and I'm getting ready to start looking at the video that I have to edit for morning coffee um, and all that. And I'm also going to sit here and do a little bit of my planning for the day. Things that I have to get done today, things that I have to walk through and things like that. Um, I will say every day for ministry is a little different. Like I have this back of clothes behind me. I just haven't took it back to my room, but I was doing a, a conference call. I was doing a woman's conference called a single on purpose and I was the doing like the fashion panel. It was all online. And so that's why I had this all behind me to kind of pull pieces and kind of inspire women to, you know, you know, try to try clothes on and things like that. So that's kind of why this is still behind me. Um, and really today, it is just so pretty snowy that it just makes me feel so cozy and not rushed. Most days feel kind of rushed. Like, um, you know, once I get my shower, once I get out of devotion, it's kind of time to get into the work. And so um, today I'm just excited about not feeling so rushed. And I'm going to take my time. I'm going to edit. I'm going to do some planning. Um, I'm going to do just some listening and just trying to get the things together for my life. Shout out. I found this cute little thing at Raw Home Marshalls. And then I didn't realize it. I left it on the couch. And Monty got to chewing on it that fast. I literally only had this for like four hours before he even chewed on it. So I'm like, well, <clears throat> that's how you know you have a puppy. He chews on everything. <clears throat> But anyways, that's what I'm about to do. Just sit here and do a little bit of some planning, get into the morning coffee editing video. Um, I will say, you might guys might look at my morning coffee and be like, oh, like all her quotables and all this. And I will say, uh, the morning coffee, I've actually streamlined it now. I can edit that, that sucker so fast. And I'm very grateful for that because it's just been so normal to, to find the quotes that stand out and to add the scripture and things like that. So it's really easy for me to edit that one. It's these Vlogmas videos that are challenging me because it's like 25 different scenes that I'm putting together to make a story. And that is very hard. I'm not going to lie. Like 25 different little video snippets and you're, it, that's hard cutting and going through. Well, morning coffee is just a talk. That, it's a breath of fresh air to edit my morning coffees. I'm not going to lie.
guys now it is fully time to start editing I did kind of some planning on things I need to kind of get done today um, but it's time to edit and I will say um, to me editing is the uh, it's the tedious part it's the thing you kind of don't want to do but you know you have to do it or your videos will never be seen and so if you are somebody who is doing editing and all that I would encourage you for like a new youtuber so for like a new youtuber I would encourage you to use uh, your phone you know um, start editing from your phone make it like really easy on yourself um, but for somebody let me put two right here but for somebody like let's say myself um, who's already kind of been in it for a while I would encourage you not to do it from your phone anymore because there's only so much that your phone can do I'm gonna quit talking now because I gotta edit and also y'all guys know when I edit I always put on a timer so if I'm editing for um, let's say a vlogmas video I give myself an hour and 15 minutes however I usually either hit it or go over so for this one in particular I'm gonna give myself 35 or 45 minutes to see if I can knock it out in 45 minutes um, that means I I get it done editing in 45 minutes and then I get to creating the thumbnail and all that that won't take me very long right so I'm gonna go ahead and start that now it's started so I put that down and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into editing <laughs> All right, guys, my timer just went off and I'm pretty much done editing. It's just going back through, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of going back through here and making sure my uh, quotables and stuff are on point. Um, and some of them aren't like in the wrong way or in, or in the wrong place or anything. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and export this and get on with the day. So that was about 30, 45 minutes and I'm still editing a little bit, just making sure my quotes and stuff are nice. And then we'll get on into the blog portion. All right guys, it's been like two minutes and I'm all done editing now. But before I, I'm done editing, I always just go back on the timeline. I'm gonna show you real quick. I just hit enter and I go back and I watch my entire video to see if there's anything that's out of line or not, or the verbiage or the letters, are, there's a letter missing or something like that. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then we can export this thing and get it up on YouTube so you guys can have your morning coffee. Alrighty guys, well I am done editing. The video is actually exporting right now, which is so good. And so I'm gonna look at my list. So I pretty much know what I have to do. Um, this is kind of loose, hold on. Okay, all right. So pretty much the video is exporting. It's only got two minutes left. But what I like to do, and I call it Streamline. It's a system that I do in my ministry. It's easy peasy. I edit my video and once it's exported, but why, before I even go to edit, I cut out a snippet of it that I know that I'm gonna use either for social media or something to promote, like a part of the word where I think is really powerful. Um, and so I already cut that snippet. So once these two minutes are up, I'm gonna go ahead and export that little snippet part that I really like. And then once the snippet part is done, and then I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. And while it's uploading to YouTube, I go ahead and create the thumbnail in that time. So by the time I fill it all out, I drop the thumbnail in and I schedule it and then I'm done with YouTube. So pretty much my videos go out with like the day after I already prepared it or maybe two days after. Um, so for example, it's 11. So I have a video out that went out this morning that I haven't even looked at. Um, so I need to check that and that video was which one? Cook with me, yeah, it was the soup video. So that one went out today. Okay guys, right now I actually got the video uploading to YouTube. So as that is uploading, I'm gonna run over to canva.com and I'm gonna work on creating my thumbnail. All right, so I'm just kind of working on creating my thumbnail. Um, I have all these images of myself, so I'm kind of just have these pre-made templates that if I want, I could kind of just drag and drop them in there. 
but um, I'm gonna find the best one and obviously do some adjustment and all that. my blog is I go and I've already pre-written my blog my editor has already edited my blog and so now I just go and take that and kind of design the graphics like the quotables and then whatever the cover photo is for that blog I do that that's pretty much what it'll look like on my website I'll we'll have its title I we'll have the text the quote and then we'll have the, the bottom okay so pretty much when that's done all I do is come up here and I schedule it so I Excuse me. So I rarely ever just post it like real time. I did back in the day when I didn't know about when they didn't have scheduling um, because I didn't know about this. But now I just schedule it just like my video goes out at 6 a.m. every Monday. This ooh, this also goes out at 6 a.m. every Monday. <sighs> all right, guys, you might be like, gosh, she's doing a lot. But okay, I've got my video. I've got all the big things done now. I'm going to later.com. If you don't know what later.com is, it's just an area where you can like schedule your posts for social media. And I like to schedule something at least for Monday morning uh, geared towards my content. And so I'm on here right now about to do that. And then I'm done with this stuff. So that's one thing I love about getting things done early. You can knock that stuff out so fast. It's it makes it so much easier. It's a breath of fresh air when you start your day. Like say, example, when I wake up Monday morning, I'm not rushing to edit videos. I'm not rushing to get things out. Everything's already gone. So when I wake up Monday, I'm actually preparing for like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever, you know? So I'm not actually working for that particular day. So that feels really good. So now I'm gonna schedule this. So pretty much what that does is it helps me not to have to jump on social media early in the morning and do that. That gives me time to spend time in devotion, time in my ministry, personal meetings with God, whatever it is that I need to do in the morning. If I already have this stuff scheduled, that means that morning I'm not rushing around doing it. And I realized this helped me because before I would be like in devotion, looking at the time, like oh, I'm supposed to be getting that video up or I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm supposed to be making those things versus now this just makes it so much easier easier it literally makes it so much easier so now i'm pretty much done with my computer for the day if i want to be so what i really want to do is i want to sit down and do a little bit of prayer journaling prayer journaling planning um and just a few little things for myself all right guys i realized i haven't eaten anything besides the hot chocolate today you know so i'm eating some nuts because i don't want to quite eat my dinner yet Oh, I just dropped a cranberry. Monty's gonna eat it. I know he is. Okay, but I'm gonna do a little bit of prayer journaling and I still have planning to do today too. I'm tired.
right, guys, I just finished doing some prayer journaling for a little bit, and now I'm actually going to sit down and do a little bit of planning. That's why I have my phone here, because I sometimes when I'm, like, not in the mood to be at my computer, I'll, like, lay on the couch and, like, watch a good series or something, and then I'll put, like, notes all in my phone. So I've got a lot of notes, and I also use, like I said, voice memos, too, when I'm, like, thinking of something. So I have to do some planning right now. We're doing our 2021 corporate fast. So I need to plan for that. Monty J, stop, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, so now I need to do some planning for my 2021 corporate fast um, that we do every year. And then I also need to do some planning for my membership. And then I need to do a planning for, um, I'm thinking about doing like a vision board video. You guys know I do vision boards. I've been doing them for years. Um, I get a lot of backlash for doing vision boards. And I didn't know anything about what vision board. I didn't know they were considered new age. I didn't know any of that. Because honestly, I just used to, all, my content is always in my prayer journal. So I have a lot of prayer journals, y'all know that. And I would write out my dreams and my visions. And then I would get color pencils and I would draw out. With example, I have an old journal where I have a picture of a camera. Because I wanted to buy a camera for my YouTube channel. You know, I had pictures of, um, of like a, a new book. a new Like I drew out the book and because I knew I was going to write a book for women. You know, whatever it was. Oh, hold on. I, 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 Monty, get down. Get down, sir. So I feel like people get really like upset that I do vision boards. And really, I don't know what the difference is versus my prayer journal or on a board. Or if it's not a picture, it might be right, right out on my journal. It'd be written out in note cards, um, things I believe God is calling me to do, you know. And so that is a whole like situation that I do. I hate feeling like people think I'm considered new age or something. And I didn't even know that's what the thing was called. Um, I just wrote them in my prayer journal forever and then I was like, oh, you should put them on you should put them on your desk And so before it wasn't even a board It used to be a picture frame where I would just put things on there that I want I'd have you know um, On there empower women, you know minister to da God's daughters Like I would have these quotes to remind me of what I was doing and now I have it in picture form Like I have a vision board behind me um, And right now all it really it's it's, it's kind of older but it has like my pictures of some girls I empowered. It has a picture of this long like office desk area because I do want that one day for my ministry. It has a picture of a cross in the middle because I want to remember my focus of Jesus. It has an area where it looks like an event. And that is kind of just to show like I want to host women empowerment events and empower God's daughters. Um, it also has... Um, the college that I want to go to get my master's in, it has that on there to get my my Bible degree. Well, pretty much a master's in divinity. It has that college on there. Um, it also has a check on there for $10,000, which I need to take that off now. But pretty much um, that was just to say like our ministry would be able to hold $10,000 and it has. I will say, I don't really like explaining why I have this. It's like, I have it because it's I'm a visual person. So before it was in that, it was all in a journal. And it's actually, everything that's on that board is all actually in this journal right here. Actually, I maybe can turn to some pages. But also, I'm also a person that likes to see things broken down, which is why I have this board. This board breaks down some of my top goals and all that. Then, I mean, I'm explaining this because I feel like I have to, people come for me, man. They come for me. So when I said I wrote them in my journals, this is what I meant. So before I had vision boards, I would write out what everything I was doing. Here's my camera. Here was the book I wrote, Worthy. I wrote out that. I knew I wanted to inspire people. I know I wanted to work hard on YouTube. Like these are things I would just draw out. So before it was ever on a board, it was already in my prayer journal. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys with that because I know I'm thinking about doing a vision board video, um, but I need to figure out what I want to add on my vision board for 2021. And so I might sit here right now. Let me fix this. So I might sit here right now and actually plan that out. So I think I'm going to be sitting here doing some planning for it. It's, I might actually put a timer on. I could probably put a timer on for like a one hour planning session. But I also like to listen to music while I plan, either some songs or a sermon. 
Planning is just a good vibe time for me because I want to have good, positive, creative God vibes so I can get what he wants me to get and I can make sure I'm being downloaded what it is he needs me to be downloaded on. Okay guys, I'm turning on some Christmas music and I'm going to be sitting here and probably getting up and moving around, but I'm about to start planning for our fast. I'm about to start planning for our corporate fast, for my membership, for my goals of this coming week, and I'm also going to be planning for the vision board that I want to do a video on or vision board online party. I don't know. Some people have been requesting that I do a vision board online party. However, I don't know if I want to do that live because that's kind of hard to do. Um, and two, a vision board time is not a time to be trying to record and talk to people. Like it's a time to have your music playing, have your coffee, have your hot chocolate and just be in your vibes and think about what God, what is my goals? And this is something I will say about my vision board. There's times I put things on there that I truly felt were from God. And I truly felt God tell me to take those things off. And then I took them off. And then in another season, he told me to put them back on there. And so I will say, certain things you're going to realize are for you and for certain seasons are not. So there was a season I had a whole bunch of other stuff on there. And God was like, that is not your focus, girl. These are your focus. And so that's all I want to say about a vision board is like sometimes it's going to switch and change. And you just got to be willing to, hey, I don't need that on my board anymore. You know, that's okay. I can take that off, whatever. Or you achieve something and then you can take it off. So it just kind of depends on what you see for yourself and what God has been putting on your heart. And so I did a lot of talking. I'm about to sharpen my pencils. I have some colored pencils here. <laughs> I'm going to sharpen my colored pencils. And I like to just color. I love, it helps you be a, a chill vibe. Like, the smell of crap, like color pencils. I, I'm not tripping. Ah, they smell so good. It's like that wood smell. Anyways, I don't know, but I'm gonna sharpen these. And I literally got this little thing at like the dollar store forever ago. You wanna have a good colored sharpened pencil. You don't want no dull, ah! You don't want no dull pencil. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm very visual. So I'm probably gonna sit here and I'm probably gonna draw out my vision board, like what the things I want. Um, or what I feel like God's putting on me when it comes to my corporate fast. I'm probably going to draw that out to my guide um, when it comes to my membership. I'm probably going to outline that thing on a whole nother level. Come on, Jesus. I love planning time. This is literally planning time. So cue the Christmas music.
All right, guys, we won't be out here too long, but it is cold, and Monty's like ready to go. <laughs> But hey, we enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this Vlogmas video. And I have not had a snowy Christmas in so long. So it's so good to have a snowy Christmas. I hope you guys enjoy. The snow is like falling all around us. But I hope you guys enjoy. And Monty, do you like snow? Your first snow? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like your first snow? You go, big man. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching and subscribing. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mont. 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 Come here. Look. Say bye. Oh, you want mom to pick you up? Okay, I'm going to get you. Let's go. Come on. Let's go.